A quick disclaimer and a motivational speech before starting this tutorial. So, you got your brand new Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S8 Plus and decided that you should install various things on it, like Daemon Recovery Project Recovery, Root, firmware updates and so on and so forth. And you kinda messed up your phone. Now it doesn't boot up or it is boot looping or it doesn't even start. And of course, you're now feeling guilty because you think you shouldn't have tried that without having a little bit of knowledge before. And that's totally fine, we've all been there, breaking our phones. That's why I did this tutorial, in order to help you fix your mistakes and get back to a stock new phone. Everyone makes a mistake at some certain point, we're all humans and we should accept and learn something from them. As you read from the title, this tutorial is also available for those of you who want to know how to update the software to the latest and greatest one from Samsung. With that being said, you may now be in these following situations. Situation number one. Your device is soft bricked. That means you are not able to start your device. It is boot looping or it just boots into either recovery or download mode. This is the situation when you feel guilty about what you've done to your brand new device. If you try to install TWRP and root, your NOC status will be tripped. 0x1. And there's no solution to get it back to 060, at least for now. So. For now, even if you successfully follow this tutorial at the end, apps like Samsung Pay or Secure Folder won't work. The other opposite situation is when you're happy and impatient. You just want to update your current firmware, your device is working perfectly fine, but you want to get your phone the latest and greatest update from Samsung, because you can't wait the OTA update. In this case, you may have your NOX status set to OXO. By flashing an official firmware with Odin, your NOX won't supposedly be tripped to OX1. This fact is also stated on XDA. Now, take in mind that by successfully following this tutorial, everything on your device will be erased. It can also be done without erasing the data, but I always recommend a fresh, clean new install in any circumstances, especially if your device doesn't even boot up into the OS. The key difference between the wiping file and the non-wiping file will be set into the upcoming flashing procedure. All the files I will use in this tutorial are listed in the description. Be aware that using Odin version 3.12.3 .3 is crucial. No other versions are permitted. Now you may wonder why I cover both situations in one video. Well, it's simple, because both of them are being solved by following exactly the same procedure, flashing a fresh new firmware in Odin. Also, this tutorial works on both Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, only G950F or G955F. If you have a different S8 or S8 Plus, visit sammobile.com and search for your model. Then after you download the firmware, make sure you follow the instructions on their page, as they may vary from this tutorial. Visit the description to download your device-specific files. Your device must be also charged to at least 20% before getting into this tutorial. So, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Wicked and let's get right into the tutorial. I have here in front of me my personal computer along with my USB Type-C cable, which I'm going to be connecting to my Galaxy S8. So, it's not the Plus version, it's the S8 version. Okay, so, this is the folder. You may wonder why it is so big, just to make sure you see actually what it says under, under it and what files I included in it. So, in order to flash a new firmware on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, you'll need to have the following files. So, the firmware, which is here, with all these files, AP, BL, CP, CSC, OXM, and Home, CSC, OXM. And the program we're going to be flashing the firmware with on our Galaxy S8, which is called Odin. Again, you should have Odin version 3.12.3. .3. This is mandatory. Again, in order to double check it. Okay, so you'll need to open Odin, and this is Odin. I will minimize this and put it right here. So this is Odin. Now, as you saw, we have specific categories for every file we're going to be flashing. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is to boot into download mode. Now, if your device isn't uh, booting up into your OS or it's constantly rebooting or it is, it is in a boot loop or it's just rebooting into recovery again and again, um, you are able to actually boot into download mode by, um, you know, make sure you reboot your device uh, normally and um, 
if it is boot looping then you'll just have to press volume down Bixby key and uh, power key until you'll see download mode. If your device is just turned off again just make sure you press volume down Bixby key and power key until you'll get into download mode. So this is download mode click volume up and uh, right now you're into download mode again. So we'll just have to connect our device to the PC by using the USB Type-C cable right here and as you may see on the screen it says a line called added in the lock section which is OK. COM7 is the port where our device is connected to the personal computer. OK, right now um, take caution this is actually a straightforward tutorial it's not that hard you just have to pay attention to what I'm doing here so click BL section and then go into where you place the S8 firmware here and select the BL folder a uh, BL zip actually it's not a zip it's a tar package it's loaded up now select AP and uh, open up AP. Now it will take some time because AP is a big file and needs to be scanned in order to update the binary size. You may see it says OD oh, not responding but do not act, uh, do not do anything because it will uh, just load up into Odin. So as you may see it loaded up into the AP section and right now we're gonna load up the CP file. So go and check out the CP file. OK, it's loaded up and then check the CSC file. Now, the main difference that I have uh, been talking about in the disclaimer section was that you are able to decide whether you will wipe all your data on your device or not. And I recommend you to wipe your data, especially if your device won't boot up currently. And uh, because it's always good, a good idea to start with a fresh OS after you, you know, you messed it up. So, the CSC package, as you may see here, we have two CSC packages. The CSC package that will not erase the data on your phone is the home CSC OXM. So, this is the one that will not erase the data on your device. But in this tutorial, as I said, we're going to be wiping all the data on our device, so we're going to be checking out the CSC dot uh, CSC underline OXM. So this one erase erases all the data, and this one doesn't. So we're going to be selecting this one. Open, and again it is loading up into the CSC section. So right now everything is as it should be. Phone connected, everything into place in the same section. I placed it. Please make sure you double check that. Now. Into options, you make uh, you need to make sure it is set by default, but you need to double check it um, that auto reboot is ticked and repartition is not ticked, so it is what it is. Now leave anything like this, and uh, all you have to do right now is to click start. So right now, as you may see, recovery is flashing, system is flashing, the loading bar is moving, which is a great sign. It will also be moving on the on the download screen on your device. So this is a great, uh, great idea on how things will work. So this process will take some time, maybe two to three, maybe four minutes. So make sure you grab a coffee, a cookie and wait for it to finish. After after the process will finish, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so the procedure is about to be done. You may see it's flashing cache right now, and your device should reboot from time to time right now. Okay, and a little bit of the loading screen, reset, and it says pass, green line. And as you may see, our device is currently rebooting. And as you may see, it says installing update. A little percentage here. You are safe to unplug the USB cable like this. And it says erasing because I selected 
that file in order to erase everything on our device. And from time to time it should reboot into the loading screen. As you may see. And right now it's booting up. Take in mind that the first booting process will take maybe four to five minutes so again make sure you grab a cookie and wait. Anyways that was the tutorial for today I hope I helped if I did please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe right down to my channel activate the notification in order to get my latest Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus uh, tutorials and ROM reviews and why not fix you know routing pro procedures and so on and so forth updates um, as always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye-bye.